everyone, welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm back with an Urban Legends video. This time we are heading to Mumbai. So we did Indian Urban Legends and you guys absolutely loved it. We started getting regional in the United States and you liked that too, so we thought that we would delve deeper into one of India's biggest cities. Before we get into this list, I want you guys to let me know if you think that there is any truth to Urban Legends, or if you think they're totally made up. Perhaps you know some Urban Legends, let me know in the comment section down below. Also while you're down there why don't you leave a thumbs up, share this video with a friend and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. Also if you want to connect with the creative team that went into making this video, the links to our Instagrams are in the description box. Alright let's start things off with a bizarre one at number 10, we have the Slapping Ghost. Near Thane Creek in the city of Mumbai is the Varindavan Society, a well off area of the city. Perhaps the fact that there is an abandoned building in such a sought after area is the reason for the rumours of a haunting. By the way the story goes that there is a slapping ghost on the loose. It is said that the night security guards are terrorised by a nocturnal ghoul. Rumour has it that if a security guard is slacking at any point or nods off while they're supposed to be working, they get a slap from a sassy spectre. The ghost is said to be that of an old man who committed suicide in one of the buildings in the society. He was clearly concerned about the building's security and upkeep even in the afterlife. Coming in at number 9 we have the hitchhiker of Ari Milk Colony. Milk Colony, I really like those two words together they're unsettling. Anyway, imagery of milky bees aside, the Aray Milk Colony is in Gorgagon. Am I saying that right? Are you watching from Mumbai? Let me know. Basically this is a suburb of Mumbai and it was set up in 1949 as a dairy farm, which it still is today. There are a few roads running through, but after dark they're a pretty dangerous place to be. The thick vegetation hides wild animals which have been known to set upon people. For example, the area has recently seen a leopard issue recently. There have been a number of grisly murders along the road too. In 2016, a man was found headless. Stories are that there is a jilted female ghost that tries to get into people's cars. If she's ignored, it's said that she turns violent. So this is how a lot of locals explain some of the more worrying things going on here after dark. Coming into number 8, we have the man of Maheim Junction. Spooky urban legends say that the owner of Mahim Station in Mumbai was burnt to death and now is haunting the station in a bid to avenge his murder. The rumour goes that anyone who visits the station after midnight is at risk of being subjected to his vengeance. According to local law, seven people have died as a result of the ghost at the station and local Mumbai commuters won't go anywhere near this spot after dark. Other variants on the ghost story in this area agree that the location is haunted, but it's by a lady who fell down a nearby well. Sometimes urban legends turn out to be true, which makes me think that perhaps maybe all of them have a shred of truth in there. Anyway, weirdly enough, this one turned out to be totally legit, although you might not think it when I say the headline. Coming into number 7 we have the Blue Dogs of Mumbai. So in 2017 the people of Mumbai thought that they had started going mad when they spotted blue dogs and other wildlife running by in the area along the Kasadi River. So it sounds impossible, right? Well it turns out that this one was true. The reason it happened was because a careless factory in the city was dumping untreated chemical dye in the river. This had an adverse effect on stray wildlife living nearby, turning animals bright bright blue, see for yourself. So it turns out when you see a bright blue dog on social media it isn't always a hoax. We actually did a whole video about this on our news channel Inform Overload, so if you want to learn more about it then check it out. There's also some vintage 2017 Rebecca Felgate hosting too. Things have changed! Alright, this is another urban legend that turned out to be true. We have the much discussed Donald Trump billboard at number 6. So an image online of a billboard of Donald Trump sitting in affluence with the words, there is only one way to live, the Trump way, meanwhile underneath some impoverished Mumbai citizens are sleeping on the streets. Turns out, actually this is legit. At first it was thought that the billboard image advertising a new Trump tower circulated in 2016 was a hoax. People thought it was meant to spin some negative press at the President of the United States, but it turns out the much discussed billboard was very much there. Photographer Paul Needham took high resolution images from the same area to prove their authenticity. Let them eat brioche right? Coming in at number 5 we have the possession of Mukherjee. Mukesh Mills. Mukesh Mills has been abandoned since the 1980s but was formerly a working mill in Calabar. If you have a look at a few pictures from the dilapidated building you'll easily see why so many think that it's haunted. It looks pretty haunted right? Well this is exactly what a lot of film location scouts thought 
too. The location has been a popular spot for shooting horror movies and the like, however these days it is said that the actors and other film crew will refuse to work here based on some pretty freaky goings on that occurred when one television actress was filming there. This story goes that two actresses were filming at the spot, one being famous Indian actress Kamya Punjabi aka Sindor Singh from the show Zee's Bano Main Terry Dullen. So she gave an interview in which she discussed her first hand terrifying experience at the location. She said that when she started shooting, some of her personal items went missing, but the real icing on the cake was when a girl on the show started screaming. She was in a scene and she started acting like she was possessed and she spoke in what the actress is calling a man's voice. She was crying out and telling the cast and crew to leave the area immediately. Spooky. Kamya has vowed never to work in that location again. Coming into number 4 we have the UFO sightings of 2014. If you go to Mumbai and ask locals about UFO sightings, some of them may have a lot to say. It seems that a commercial air pilot, Mihama Chaudhry, called air traffic control in Mumbai in early October 2014 to report that she'd spotted a green and white UFO at the height of 26,300 feet. This was as she flew from Mumbai over Pune. So this sighting came amid a flurry of UFO reports across India. Were UFOs coming from Mumbai or was it light reflections in the sky? Coming into number 3 we have the mystery of Divya Bharati. Bollywood is a fabulous place where India's glitz and glamour is at its finest. Sometimes though the bright lights, colours and high life draw in dark people with dark intentions. Some Bollywood stars have died under very suspicious circumstances, one of which was the bright young beauty Divya Bharati. The rising star had just turned 19 when she dramatically fell from the balcony of her 5th floor Tulsi apartment building in Vasova, Mumbai. This went down in 1993 and is still a mystery to this day. Even now, Divya is regarded as one of the most successful and highly paid actresses in Bollywood history. She acted in over 14 films between 92 and 93, which is an unbroken record in Hindi cinema to date. Her death was ruled as accidental, however many people, especially some Mumbai citizens, were not happy when the case was closed unresolved. A lot of, a lot of people suspected that she was pushed, either by her husband or as a result of an underworld Indian mafia. Scary. The mystery of her death is still very much that, a mystery. Coming in at number 2, I don't like this at all, we have the Malabar Hill Tower of Silence. Ok so I'm unsurprised this place is the subject of urban legends. The Malabar Hill Tower of Silence was a structure specifically built for dead bodies. The dead bodies here are placed so that they can be eaten by vultures, so yeah this place ain't no Disneyland. That being said, it might not sound great to you and I, but this process is part of the Parsi community's culture and marks a human ascension to heaven. If nothing else, I am kinda glad for the circle of life, I guess just having a place that the dead bodies are chucked and eaten in a city is just a little bit morbid for me. The Tower of Silence is still used by the Parsi community and it isn't really a place you want to be for many obvious reasons, and the smell. From afar you can see vultures circling the building which is hidden among trees. The area has generated a lot of rumours in its time which is understandable because of its sacred and spooky connotations. Ok so actually very connected at number 1, just 200 meters away from the Malabar and perhaps somehow connected, we have the curse of the Grand Paradi Towers. I am not all about a high rise, but in a city as populated as Mumbai which is home to 18.41 million people, I get that maybe city planners need to build skywards. One high rise you don't want to live in though is the Grand Paradi Towers. This is a 28 story residential tower in the central south section of this city. Why don't you want to live there? Well urban legend has it that they're cursed. Also living in this part of the city is pretty pricey, what's worse than a curse? An expensive curse. So prior to 1998 the building built in 1975 had seen a higher than usual spate of suicides from seemingly stable people. However when three generations of the Dalal family jumped together off their 8th floor balcony ending their lives, residents started to get, understandably, a bit nervous. A lot of people will now actively avoid the towers, many locals claim that it's haunted. Ghosts aside, why exactly have so many people killed themselves there? Well some people think it has something to do with the nearby Tower of Silence from number 2. The Tower of Silence can be seen from these residents 
residential towers, some people think that the negativity from the death building is somehow infecting the tower dwellers. Spooky. So guys that was the top 10 scary Mumbai urban legends, what did you think to this list? Let me know in the comments section down below. Before I go, I just want to read some comments from our India urban legends, which actually was Danny's video, but I'm going to read his comments, this is what you had to say. YouTuber Black Magic Film Studios commented and they said, good to see a video about India, they also said they'd love to see a part 2, well I guess this isn't really a part 2, but more of a spin off and I'm happy we could bring it to you. These guys seem to do a lot of Indian scary kind of videos, so maybe you should check them out. One of our channel members who I've seen has just got their angel ring, so congrats, Jay Dilla said, hey do the Caribbean, especially Jamaica, that's where my parents are from and they've got some spooky urban legends. They mentioned the legend of the White Witch of Rose Hall and the Rolling Calf, they say these are two of the creepiest stories. They also said they like our videos, so hey, firstly, shout out, thank you for that comment and I'd love to do that, I'll suggest it to the powers that be. I want to hear more about these scary stories. So guys, that is all I have for this video, please do make sure you leave a big thumbs up, share this video with a friend and stay subscribed for my most amazing list. See you next time.